The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, this time. Yo! Welcome to Fever Pitch. We're here again this week. Um, as you guys can tell right off the bat, I got three white guys on my left, but I don't got a Filipino guy named Rick. Um, due to personal issues, Rick isn't here. So, uh, you know, let's wish them all the best. Keep them in your players, please. Even though I see he's watching a lot of basketball lately on Twitter, but, you know, it's, it's all good. It's okay, Rick. Whatever makes you happy, whatever's keeping you going. Um, congratulations to the Ascals last night on their big win last night over Hong Kong. We will be talking about that later on. But right before we move on to anything, let's introduce you to these three white guys to my left are. <laughs> we got on my left here. I'm Jeremy On, play for Stallion Santa Lucia, defender. So as you can already tell, we got Santa Lucia players here. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw that also. Who we got next? We got uh, Matias Bonvehi, also a player for Stallion. I play forward. Forward. And then to the last white man on the left. Uh, Jesse Martindale, Stallion Santa Lucia, and left back. Left back. So he's got a little different accent there. Where are you from? Yeah, Australia. He's from Australia. We've seen a lot of those around here lately. Got two on my team now. Those are good guys. You guys are good guys. Um, so as you can tell, this episode we're going to be talking about Santa Lucia. As the UFL is coming to a close, Santa Lucia Stallions are in first place. Um, how's that feel? It's pretty good, man. To tell you the truth, uh, it's been a little roller coaster, but we've been doing well. and. I think we're going to succeed, and hopefully you guys can help us out. And <laughs> yeah, and us to help. Uh, we'll, we'll try you know. to be the spoiler there at the, against Global. I think we can do it. For sure, sure we can do it. Um, with that being said, don't have too much fun at first place. We'll be, we'll be back <laughs> next to you. We'll be back. We'll be back in there. Um, so we're going to talk about, we're going to focus on to Lucia today. Um, you know, obviously you guys deserve it, being in first place in the league. A um, few questions we have is, uh, first of all, let's get to know these guys and a little bit about their career. So, Jeremy, what, what has brought you to the Philippines? Um, first, I started college. Then me and Matthias recently were in Germany the past six months living there, playing soccer there. And then an old coach of mine uh, knows Ernie from the Malditas when they come over to the States and train. And then he ended up calling me asking if I was interested in playing in the Philippines, and I said, yeah. And That's the next awesome. thing I was here in January. So both of you were playing in Germany together. Yeah. Who are you guys playing for in Germany? TV after the game. Nice. See, that's awesome. Um, you know there's like a new foreigner rule that's about to start. Right. Yeah, they're going to vote on it right on the yeah. end of the league. Yeah, some of them are going to be voting. I'm not sure how, that, how that's going to work, but um, that's just another cool thing. For you guys who are worried about this foreigner rule to take into place, you know, these guys are playing in Germany, you know, Grew up in the states playing and learned a different style of play in Germany. Coming to the Philippines, it's, it's all it's all just helping football here. Um, with you, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, yeah. Same with uh, Jeremy. We went to college together. You know, we were buddies ever since and playing. And we always told each other, yeah, you know, we're gonna keep going forward after school. And yeah, I actually went to Argentina. I was there for a year. I'm Argentinian, but born in uh, LA. And yeah, I was doing my thing out there, hopping club to club. And then next thing you know, I'm in Germany with this guy playing sixth division. Uh, Landis League, it was pretty cool living with his uncle and next thing you know, he's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to the Philippines. I'm like, what? No, the Philippines. I was like, cool, you know, do your thing. He's like, yeah, I'll get you there, bro. I'll get you there. Cool. I was like, yeah, we'll see what's up. Next thing you know, I get a call from uh, Trey, our agent. He's like, yeah, what's up, man? I heard about you. We want to come through. And next thing you know, yeah, I'm here with these guys, met them, and we're all rooming together, having a good time. And nice. It's nice. cool, man. What about my man over here, the Australian at the end? Yeah. Then you got a whole different um, story. Yeah. yeah, I was playing in England before this uh, for about five, six months with my brother. We went over there and tried to hit it up in England and had a couple of contacts. I got family from England, so I studied with them for a bit. And then things, things didn't really, you know, work out over there. My brother stayed. I came back, trained here with the team back in Australia for a little bit. And then, yeah, a thing came up here. Knew Tommy, the captain. You know, word got out, knew him, and then came back, came to the Philippines and thought, you know, give it a go over here. Nice. And you happen to not know all Australian coach David, huh? No, Breaking not at all. I heard he's from Sydney. I don't like people from Sydney. How about uh, <laughs> our big center back in the back there? Uh, I haven't yeah. met him yet. Never done any of them? Where are you from? <laughs> Melbourne. Melbourne. That's where it's at, yeah. Don't know. Oh, that's, that's where it's at, apparently. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. 
Can't defend anyone here. Uh, what college did you two play at? Cal State Northridge. Nice. Yeah, it was a Division One. It's pretty cool. Division One school. Uh, it's NCAA. Have you guys? Did you guys know anything about the Philippines before you came to the Philippines? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. No, nothing. Do you guys know anything about the about the ass calls? No. no, nothing about that. It was it. It's, it's pretty surprising to me. I got here and then like all of a sudden I know a lot of players playing on some of these teams and it was like a you know it's a big thing. It's coming up and I think it has a lot of potential for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure it's got a lot. Of, a I lot really, of potential. I really appreciate you know like when I came, I met Jason, Leon, and plays for the ass calls and he kind of introduced me to you guys. You know. Yeah. My birthday. Jason did all who will actually be giving him a phone call later. He's going to tell us about a little incident that happened. In, uh, don't be looking at me like that. That happened in, uh, in Hong Kong last night. Um, but now that now you guys are here, how, how have you been? Obviously, the living here is a lot different than uh, in the States. Yeah. Or, yeah, so sure. have you guys uh, adjusted dealt with that, adjusted with that? The weather was hard at first. Very yeah, hot, you humid. The weather. Yeah. I didn't like it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, surprisingly, it's very, you know, Americanized. So yeah, came yeah, here and so, I, yeah. a lot of, you know, English the whole time. So it's cool. You know, we can really communicate well with all the drivers who take us. So, you know, yeah, it's, really cool. it's surprisingly, you know, it's cool. Definitely it's just saw the, in a different the food way. Food at the start as well was a bit, uh, yeah. And then we got, then we found McDonald's a little bit more. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> so that's, that's what you eat all day is McDonald's? Not all. You don't got any favorite Filipino dish? Yeah, I like uh, pan soup. That's really nice. Uh, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. So now with Santo Sia, you guys are in first place. T tell uh, tell the people who uh, probably don't watch you guys as much as they watch Kaya. <laughs> so I want you guys to tell them uh, you guys tell a little bit about how, how your season's going on. What's going on in your season? I'm not uh, sure. This roller coaster. There was a roller coaster earlier. Tell us about it. Well, yeah. Well, in my in my state, it was because I came, you know, halfway into the season. But uh, no, no, I was talking to Jeremy too while he was here the first couple of games, you know, and they were doing well. And they kept going forward, doing, kept winning, 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 and, you know, we kept that up somehow, and it's, it's been good. Roller coaster wise for me, yeah, of course, but definitely a good, good ride, not, you know, nothing too crazy. But Jeremy, you've been here since the start of the season? Mm -hmm. I think one thing our team has is team chemistry. We all get along, we enjoy mm -hmm. trainings, everybody laughs, you know. So it's, it's good, especially having so many different people like from different areas of the world. Yeah, tell, us about, tell us about where Spanish, we're we have two Spaniards, then we have a few Koreans, the Korean. we have the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. Filipinos uh, and the white guys. guys. The white guys. <laughs> Some Brazilians. Yeah, Brazilians. Dude, that's, that's crazy, all yeah. these different cultures. And then, but it's weird, because when we start training, it just all disappears. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. We all become yeah, like we we already know we're talking the same language, and it's yeah. like even these hand signals with the Koreans. Yeah, it's all yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. No, they do. But it's, 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 it's still learning. Yeah. Yeah, it's still learning. At times, it could be you know, a little obviously a little frustrating if you're trying to be on the pitch and you know trying to get things going, but it's all a good experience for sure. And yeah, for I think, sure. like you said, when we went to Germany and it was like showing us a different view. Now we're here, you know, seeing it's this all, like, all the whole program again, here. Right? You know, it's a good thing. How is it? Um, with the uh, with the Koreans when you guys first came, was it, was it tough? How's it walking around with them dyeing their hair all different colors? <laughs> <laughs> they got all different haircuts. Dude, I think I'd have a great time with them. No, yeah, they're definitely a blast. I mean, when they're together, and they're, just you know, to, off the they're field, together, yeah. they're having a good time too. So once you get to know all the guys in the team and stuff like that, just develops. A how how is their English? It's, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. And you guys all stay in the same place. No, the Koreans live in Kabao. Kabao? Where, where do you guys live? Mandaluyong. Mandaluyong. You guys like it there? Call them the Mandaluyong boys. <laughs> Mandaluyong boys? <laughs> you, guys, you guys like it there? That's good. Yeah, it's I think so it's mainly good. because the group of guys. Yeah, we all kick it together. Who, who else stays there with you guys? Us three, then Hector, Guy, and, and Diego. 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 Yeah, the kid from the awesome. States. Yeah. States. So all the white guys and the two Brazilians. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's cool, it's cool. That's we make up. it work, man, and all together we're a little family, you know. It's yeah. cool. And then we go and training. It, it you know, definitely so. shows on the field. I mean, if you guys watch the guy, these guys play, you can tell you guys have very good chemistry that what you guys are doing when you're playing, it's like it's like being drilled into you guys almost. Um, for sure. You can definitely tell the, for your style of play. Um, how, how much do you guys love your striker, though? Uh, Rufa. <laughs> Kid's a beast, man. Right? Dude, you yeah. can goal scorer, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, how's it with him? He's a good guy. Good. Yeah, yeah, really humble guy. Works hard. 
Very humble. Very, yeah, very humble guy. Well, very so well. He's English. His English is funny at times. Yeah. yeah. He's always taking classes like, right now. Yeah. Always teaching. So we're always giving him a little run for his. And it's uh, Rufo Rufo Sanchez, right? Yeah. yeah. He's the, the leading goal scorer in Spanish league. He goes to Gore in our league. Um, ball headed guy. <laughs> <laughs> real, real, real good striker though. Uh, again, top scorer in the league. Uh, he gets more goals than Phil, young husband. Um, how, how many of your guys' goals does he have? Is it 21? I think he's got yeah, around 20 now. 20 goals 20 for you guys? Nice. That's what's up. Yeah, um, really so that's cool. I mean, you guys seem like a real cool team, real real humble team. Yeah, you guys have a lot of a lot of foreigners, huh? Yeah, very diverse. How many, how many Filipinos start in your lineup? The other day we had one. And I went, one? You know, we were all sometimes, looking at that going, damn, one Filipino. Yeah. You know? Sometimes it varies. We get up to five, yeah. you know, six. Oh, okay, so it changes. It depends, yeah. Okay. Players get hurt, suspensions. Yeah. Mm, okay. We usually have like a good two on the field, I'd say. Good two. Oh, that's good. Two um, three. Dang, so that's gonna have to change pretty soon. Yeah. yeah so uh, what do you what do you think about that? White boys might be gone. <laughs> some Brazilians might be gone. Pick a Korean out of there. <laughs> they got a whole whole hat full of foreigners in there. Um, so what, what else can you guys tell us about your club? Um, during this season, are you guys also train with the Malditas? Yeah, yeah. The Malditas have had a. Uh, a lot of success in the AFC Cup. You know, they uh, they won two games, yeah. lost one game. Um, you guys basically helped them helped them to prepare. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Sure. They prepared. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So how how is that happening to train with them, helping each other out? I mean, obviously it's it's showing that you guys are both working hard. You know, their success, your success. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. So just uh, <laughs> tell us a little. How is it with them? It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, we're sort of like helping them to make sure that they won. You know what I mean? Just yeah. yeah once you get to know the girls and stuff, they're like all really cool. And then you know, you just help them to make sure that they can get success as well. Yeah, they're there to play too. Yeah. And a lot of them come from the states, so you know they're also playing college, and yeah. we know exactly how that is. So, so do they, you? They did you guys know any that came from the states? No, no but yeah. surprisingly, a couple lived pretty close. Yeah, they lived right, right yeah. around the corner, yeah. and then I didn't know anyone yet. And we all cool. got along in the end, which is cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's and good. how often? How often do you guys train with them? They were training with us like every day. Every day? When they were yeah. staying they before were the tournament, yeah, every day. And now, are you guys, when you guys train each other, you guys mixed into a group? Or are you guys separated, doing the same mixed drills? In. Mixed, mixed in. in. Yeah. Separated sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. They need to go off and do their own thing, like free kicks and stuff so like that. How many people you guys have at training, at training yeah, sessions? A good yeah. amount of people. Yeah. Sometimes it's a lot. Their field feels empty now when we rock up the training. Yeah. Like, is this everyone? The girls, yeah. uh, and then it's every guys train at BGC? Yeah, BGC, yeah. Yeah, BGC's little. How many people do you say you have there? Uh, with the Malditas? Mm -hmm. Good 40. 40? Yeah, 40. Uh, good 40 at least. Yeah. And Plus the guys help them out, so. Yeah. yeah. So it's like over 50 people yeah. inside the little BGC. Training really hard and stuff like that. Inside the little BGC, that place is tiny. And then it's all, all, all the back. Super tiny. Super tiny. Yeah. 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 Super tiny. And the physio doing their work, trying yeah. to take corners and stuff like that. I guess it can help when you're trying to play more and compress the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. it does. Helps in some way, you can always take it in a positive, for sure. But and it is super not the biggest stadium either. Yeah. yeah. So have you guys heard about this? Uh, these games that are to be played July 2nd? I haven't heard too not much really. about it. Much. Yeah, I don't think it's really been um, put out there yet. But right. I suppose we'll be playing these games July uh, 2nd. It's like third place in the league. Um, uh, will you guys be here for that? Super Cup? Uh, we don't. I, I don't know the title of it. We're not. Uh, I just. We're just going with what we hear, you know. So it's like we have a game July second, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of players all over the league probably won't be here. Yeah. So we're planning to go on break. Are you guys planning to be here? I'll probably be here. Yeah, I might not be here. Might not be here. Yeah. Well, no, I'm trying to go. You know, go back home and see family and stuff. But if we need to be here, you know. Well, that's good. That's a good decision there. <laughs> that's good. Um, so, I mean, what else do you guys want to tell us about yourselves? You know, speak up. Yeah. Tell us a little bit something. We're a, a handful of boys. I mean, <laughs> just do our thing. Heard, uh, what's this guy over here got a hickey on his neck? <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I'm sure there's something going on. Something more exciting than football around here. You guys fall in love with any Filipino girls yet? Uh, he's got a little serious relationship. Mm. Serious relationship? <laughs> you know, he's just a... A key kind of guy. Oh, this is the one with the girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, you got a girlfriend. She's from she's Filipina. Yeah, she plays in the Maldita. Oh, she plays in the Maldita. Da -da -da. Oh, we're out here live. <laughs> this is a Filipino channel. We got something. <laughs> what's, her, what's her name? So you, just <laughs> you, gave, you just gave me that one. What's her name? Huh? What's her name? Sam. 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 Yeah. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> What's your last name? <laughs> What's your last Say name? Nervous. Why does that last name sound so familiar? I don't know, why? Or who's who she related to? Same year as it is. Oh, I drink that water. <laughs> yeah. Let me put a little bit. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll let you breathe there. Turn, turn a little red. Right, we'll turn red on me over there. Yeah. How about you guys? You guys fall in love with any uh, Filipino sister you've been here? Any Filipino uh, ladies? No. Definitely not. You guys got the wife friends? back at home. Yeah. Wife? Yeah. Yeah. Wife? Yeah. Are you married? <laughs> not yet, no. No? But yeah, I got the. Got her back How's that? Keeping it, uh, being here and then she being back there? Uh, it's hard, man. It's hard. She actually, she acts uh, back in the States. Oh, yeah? She's an yeah. actress? Yeah, she's an actress. She nice. It's a show. It's called Make It or Break It. Make It's it like or ABC break Family. It. Oh, okay. Actually, it's it was actually big. out here. Yeah, yeah it's pretty it's big. big. Gymnastics show. That was super cool, man. I miss her to death. And yeah, what's her name? Ayla. Ayla. Facebooker. She's an actress. <laughs> <laughs> How about Jeremy? Well, Jeremy. Just Let's talk about Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about Jeremy. Let's what? Let's go. 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 let us go let us uh, like you said, what would be voted and how that would all go. It's, so it's exciting. Since, since being here, though, what have you guys learned about the ask cause? Well, you say, what would you say? I don't know. They're definitely I mean, they're coming up team. I yeah. saw that for sure. Yeah. They're very young. I, I can kind of tell. Yeah, they're all young. Seems like most of the guys are, you know, mid twenties or younger. Yeah. yeah. There was a couple of UFO definitely players potential. in there as well. Yeah. UFL players, yeah. Interesting to say when I played over here. Which yeah. UFL players do you know play for the Ascos? Jason Young. Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that one. Yeah. Yeah. The young husbands. Huh? Yeah. 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 I don't know the other boys' names. OJ, Matthew Lee. I don't remember all their names, but yeah, names, but these guys, <laughs> these guys crack me up. It's like you guys are like your own little world, you know? Like, <laughs> little you know, you guys got your own little world going over there in Mondelion. No, I it's never, it's, 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 it's a lot of distractions. A lot. <laughs> never sleeps. Never sleeps. Sleep. People are always out, noisy, doing stuff. I never <laughs> thought I'd be over here. Oh, but another thing, we barely got cable at the house, so we can't. So what do you guys do all day? FIFA. We keep it up. All day? FIFA sleep. Up, yeah. FIFA sleep. sleep. You guys sound just like our boys at the Kai house. Like, <laughs> what do you guys do all day? Like, sleep, pool, yeah. work out. Life of a footballer. <laughs> this guy's shit. It's like, take it or leave it, huh? Yeah. Pretty nice. It's relaxing, nice. you know, you just get to get to play do what you love, you know? Play a beautiful nice. game, Must sleep all day, nice. eat, take a shit if you want. <laughs> Shower, who cares? Six bucks, one bath. Yeah. I mean. That's what's up. Um, can, we, can you go to a commercial a commercial break? We're going to get a commercial break here um, with my three my three white guys to my left. Uh, Jesse. <laughs> my team. Jeremy. <laughs> oh, these guys are great. You guys, these guys are great. All right, we'll get that back after this commercial break. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But um, let's like, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth. You say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth. And you okay. Keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can fit the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you, okay, gonna ba? Okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll go two at a time. Okay, gonna ba? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! 
It's that show about it. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. And we're back. Um, so a lot of you guys who watched the game, I'm sure you guys did, all you, all you Ask Call fans out there. Um, the Ask Calls beat Hong Kong 1-0 last night. Um, big props out to Neil Etheridge. Oh my god, this guy, did you guys watch the game? No, okay. This guy made some amazing saves last night. He made, I think he made over eight saves, saving a PK. They're up 1-0. Um, goal, another uh, credits to... Uh, James Young husband, go out there. Uh, good work to my teammate Chris, who held it down in the middle, kicking the crap at everyone. Good work. Uh, OJ, another teammate who came on, did a really good job. But overall, good job to all of them. I'm sure it's um, it's tough to uh, play in Hong Kong with uh, crazy fans. So speaking of crazy fans, we have Jason DeJong on the phone, who's actually able to had to watch the game from the stance because he's uh, he's hurt. Um, I think it's a back injury. Um, so he was watching from the stands and finding out today that a lot of crazy things happen with the fans. Um, well, he, since he was there, you know, to witness it, we want him to tell us exactly what happened with these crazy Hong Kong fans. Jason, you there? Jason is there. He was. Jason happens to be teammates with these three. Or used to be teammates with Jeremy before you took the two can. Yeah, yeah, before we can. Oh, but Jesse was there. Oh, was there. Oh, was there. oh, Jesse, you were here with uh, Jason was teammates with you? Yeah, Jesse used to play for Santos Stallions, Santos Cia Stallions, and now he's on Global. Is uh, is he there? He's Jason there. I don't think Jason's there. <laughs> Not about the part. Did Jason, did Jason leave us there? He's there, Jason. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I hear you. How many times have you been uh, answering me? You're on the phone, and I'm in the studio, <laughs> and I think you live in Global City, so we're pretty far from each other. <laughs> you still there? Don't hang up. I think we're losing him. Oh, he hung up. Let's see if we can call him back. We'll have to call him back. So, um, I definitely want to, uh, so what happened was, I guess last night in Hong Kong, from what he told me earlier, was that, um, they they were calling them slaves. What? Yeah, they were calling them slaves. They were throwing water bottles at them, throwing water bottles at the Filipino fans, which is a it's a little nuts to me, but it's kind of I can kind of understand because we were playing. I, I played for the Guam national team, and we were playing Hong Kong. We lost two to one, um, and I went to go take a throw in, and I was I was wearing number four. I was playing left back, and. Uh, I'm like picking up the ball and I look over and this like this guy from Hong Kong's like number four. I look over, he's like yeah you. And he's like fuck you. <laughs> and I was just, out of the ball, I was just like I just looked down. I just like, put my down. I started cracking up and I could like see my teammates come lift and yeah. the lights were falling. They were just cracking up laughing. Like I I didn't know how to handle that. I was like dude, this guy just told me to fuck myself. Like, Sorry. Like, Let's break. We're gonna take another break while we try to figure out how to get Jason back on the phone because we want him to you know. But definitely tell us exactly what it was like. Don't just, 
I wasn't there. He was. Sure, get back. We'll be right back. And if you think call center work is easy, think again. Because if you want to get into the industry, you have to practice. Vladimir Vlad is the best punk if I want to play a player and vocal to the post for fighting them. I don't know how to do that. 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 Dadaan na naman si Lunes, mag-adjust ka na naman ang tulog mo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pwede na pa pa kayo dyan? Ayaw, ayaw na ka ba dyan? Hi, this is Mo Twister. Please watch The Call Center Show every Sunday, 6pm, only here on New Media Factory. I was dared through boss man to uh, to eat a sprinkle of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of your lips. Jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is a professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, jaundice. And I'm now. Happy to present to you Carlo Tario. Look at this, the third of it. Tario, what's the meaning of snacks? What's the dog? Any of that? Tapos. I'm putting it. Hey, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba yan? Pwede pwede. Konsiyo. Yeah, na para sa show mo ha. Oh. Rico, I'm a yaya ba? Pwede ba tong ano? Zora. Pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing. Pwede pa tong pan nose line. Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas ka ng glamour, te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> oh, purahin na, purahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Te! <laughs> Sorry, ma. Mas ka ng glamour! Ito talaga? Pwede <laughs> bago yan, don't worry. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap yun. <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno. Hello. Love Lols. Every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30. Only here on The Factory. Yeah, a little. Oh. All right. Are we now? Yes. We're like a Verizon commercial. <laughs> hey, tell us what happened. <laughs> Oh my god. Tell us what happened last night with the Hong Kong fans. Well, um, yeah, we, um, for, first we, uh, we came on the field and everything and they start booing already. Like, um, it was really like, uh, like disrespectful thing. Like when our national anthem was playing, they turned their backs to the field, the, uh, the Chinese people, the Hong Kong people. And they, uh, they booed the whole, National anthem. No way. And there was also like black, like um, what is this? A black flag on the side of the of the stand, and it said like the date of the of the thing that happened a couple of years ago here with the hostages and stuff, and uh, with the bus with the Hong Kong people, and the people died in the Philippines. Don't know much about and then, that. Let's look into that. Uh -huh. 
and then and then afterwards, you know, like uh, what is this? Like when we won the game, they um, yeah, they threw bottles at the Filipino fans, and they told the Filipino fans that that we were a slave nation, and that uh, and then this little kid uh, in the stands got hit by um, uh, by lighter uh, by lighters and um, yeah and, and bottles. It was actually really really bad. Uh. Did you did you feel safe because you were in the stands? I can't believe I'm screaming like this thing. Sorry again. How did you feel being in the stands? No, I was on the other side. You know, it it, it all was on the, um, across the grandstand. It was they were mixed up like the Chinese people and the Filipinos. So afterwards, uh, like after the game, the um, the Ascals, they went over to to thank the Filipino people. And that's when it happened. So, like all the Chinese people, they start hammering the the Filipino people and chasing them uh, outside the uh, outside the, uh, what is this? Outside the stadium too. So it was really, really bad. Yeah, I heard uh, that some some Filipino people even got like uh, got jumps. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. So yeah. Funny. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's you know like some. Uh, there was a girl also that came over from Manila that organized a lot of things for the supporters, um, for the Filipino supporters, and um, and yeah, she, she got like uh, spit on and everything on the on the street, like by the Chinese people. Jeez, Jesus. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty I mean, intense. Yeah, that's so intense. How good so does it feel to beat Hong Kong, though? Must be good now. Sorry again. How good does it feel to beat Hong Kong? Yeah, of course it was. It was the first time, of course, but yeah, every every country we beat is the first time in history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, but um, yeah, well, we the first half we played really well, and uh, yeah, the second half we we got a little bit under pressure, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good win. Who is? And um, yeah, there's always critics, you know, in the Philippines. They're never happy, but uh, we won, so I don't really care. You know, that matters that you guys won, you won for your country. Who was your man of the match? For you, who's the man of the match? Uh, Neil Atris, of course. Yeah, dude, I was... Uh, but was after, right. after that, I should say uh, Jeffrey Chris and uh, Chris Graybridge. Yeah, Chris was doing all that dirty work, huh? Sorry? Chris was do doing a lot of dirty work, huh, in the midfield, uh, picking up all the scraps. <laughs> dude, that guy was running nonstop. <laughs> It's happy for him. Good performance from him. Um, well, hey, thanks for taking the call, and uh, finally we got you on here. All right, cheers, man. Shoot. Hey, Jeremy, are you going to say hi to the joint? I should be your teammate. And you're going to be like, oh, hey, what's up, bud? <laughs> hey, yeah, we, we used to be to teammates. Him. We used to be butt buddies. You remember me? <laughs> hey, you're going to say hi. Jeremy, I made a few words over here. <laughs> you say hi at all. Very much so. Jesse, too. That was your teammate, too. Good guy. He's a nice guy. Nice guy? He's a good guy. Alright, so let's go back to the three white guys. We got questions from the chat. Oh, we have a chat and we have questions. You gotta get out of here. Uh, <laughs> what can you say about your fans? Ooh, what Ooh, can you say smart. about your Steins? Very Yo, cool. how come the Steins come on here? We got people asking questions in the chat room. This is the first time that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time. No, we got we three didn't. white guys on the show and now people want to ask questions. <laughs> No, no, they're very supportive though. Every, yeah. every game they're there. They're so really, good. Yeah. Yeah. Who are your they're fans? Yeah. Some show up at training. Yeah, some show up at training as well. Yeah, at 6 a.m. they'll be sitting there watching us. A support group. Yes. We have some yeah. support group on Facebook. They said. Do you have a name? The no. fans? Yeah. yeah. Like, Drew is one of them. Yeah, he's Drew. the one who runs yeah. the support group, I think. Oh, Drew Mariana. Yeah. Yeah, he's he, the, he uh, tweeted me about it. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's very supportive. Hi, Drew Mariana. Special shout out from your Steins here. You guys ever heard of the Ultra Kai's though? The Ultra Kai's? Yeah, you heard of the Ultra Kai's. Yeah, RT, dude. Yeah, I like their chance though. Dude, how sick are they? They're pretty sick. No, I was definitely respecting that. That's yeah. cool. Boom! Ultra Kai's! <laughs> Love you guys. Those guys are sick. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Any more questions in that chat room over there? Uh, how are they preparing for the upcoming game against Miracle? Do you love them? I think not making it too big of a game. Like versus Global, I think we it's all hyped ourselves up like. It all comes down to this one game, right? Instead of just taking it as every other game, just playing. Yeah, just basically going forward. It's this last game. We're gonna give it our all, and I think the most important thing is that we have fun and we play our stuff. Yeah, for sure. Make it, make it enjoyable. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Last game of the so, season. Dang, you guys need Kai to beat Global. Oh, <laughs> please. Yeah, you guys please, are going to take please, me out. Please. You guys are going to buy me steak. You're going to be tied. Yeah. You guys are going to take me out. You guys are going to treat me like I'm your girlfriend over there. One more, one more question. Three questions in the chat room. This is a joke. All right, go ahead. Ask How did you question. guys feel when you had to play against Jason? Taking the out. Yeah. He didn't play, did he? He didn't. <laughs> oh. he, didn't. he came on as a sub. The no, second. The game. first game he didn't play though. No, the first game he didn't play. But yeah, the second game. Because didn't the trade happen like right yeah, the day right before the, the first game? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Of course, I didn't think that was gonna happen. And so. We, I mean, how's it, how's it feel to play against him? Dude, he's a cool guy, you know? Yeah, he's yeah, hang out with him off the field. Yeah, off the field. So, yeah. Nah, yeah, it's really we got really guy. close to him in Ila Ila when we were training. Yeah. 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 We had like a little training camp and yeah, it was sick. Oh yeah, you, were, you guys went to Ila Ila. Yeah. Tell us about those camps you guys go off on. Sick. <laughs> Dude, how are those camps? And we train with the CPU. Who's that? Central, Central like, Philippines. They have, have a, have a yeah. big Korean base of uh, students and they made a Korean team. And yeah, we had Dr. P as our coach. He's a, he was the ex Maldivas coach, wasn't he? Yeah. Something like oh, that. Okay, was he? So yeah. we trained with yeah. the. Uh, he's learning. He learned things about your team today well, too. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't there. I'm I'm learning. Learning. He, he, he had it easy. I heard about it. Yeah. He had it easy. Him and Diego are coming to Manila, you know, <laughs> living it up, going to Green Hills on his first day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my first time in the Philippines, Ilo Ilo, for two weeks. Oh yeah. So, so that's what I thought. The Philippines oh. was like a right. mess. So this oh, is totally there we go. Now, now the white guys are talking. Now the show's <laughs> ending. The white guys are going to start talking. All right, so, so tell us about that. So you thought Ilo Ilo was... I was like, so was the Philippines. Yeah. So it's like, all right, now I want to go to a beach. Still yet to find the beach. Yeah, we haven't gone to the beach yet. Yeah, it's one of the main little locations we need to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Rock guy, We're from yeah. Cali. Everybody, everybody got talks about 20 it. minutes, we got Malibu. So yeah. It's pretty dumb. spoiled, but no, no. Yeah, they got the crazy experience with Ilo Ilo, so. So how, how was it there? Tell us more about Ilo Ilo, that camp. Nothing to do, but then again, during preseason camp, you, you don't really want to do much. much. Yeah, you just right. want to rest and train. How, how was the living situation? Two weeks, that's, that's a long time. Okay. Yeah. Two had, days? Well, it was supposed to be one week, and then we had the Smart Cup. Mm, but then we lost, so oh, we didn't have right. to go back to Manila, so then we just stayed. Yeah, we lost to Sarah's too, the semis. I know. Uh, Global lost to Sarah's. Everybody, they came in, they came in yeah, freaking so yeah. the UFL. What's the deal with them? They're going to boost up? The first mean, time they I, think they're, I oh, think they're something, I think they're talking about them maybe trying to play a uh, second division They get bumped up to first. They're, they're a good team. Yeah, yeah, I keep thinking about them. Yeah, they're a good team. They came and beat everyone in the first division. Mm, so. yeah. Uh, props, yeah, they won. They won the smart cup. Uh, they're a good team. They're young too. Yeah. Uh, they're a bunch of college guys. Yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of good football here. A lot of good players. Yeah. A lot of good teams. You know. It's yeah, just, for sure, a lot of potential. Man. It's like yeah. finally, it's like all coming. It's, it's all yeah. coming together thanks to. We got uh, a couple of college kids like Matt and Knight and stuff. You know, yeah. They get some really good games. Yeah, on the league's football. definitely growing. Yeah, thanks to this great guy named Santiago. You guys know who that is? Well, he happens on Kaya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a. Yes, he's no, doing big things with uh, yeah. with the good. league. Uh, that's, that's what it that's needs. Good. I mean, there's definitely more more people behind the scenes too. I might not know other names. Sure. I know Santi though. You know, yeah. I, I think I think he's the he's the man. Not just because he's our team owner, just because what he's doing for football here. Yeah, that's um, important. For sure. So we got, we got some short time. We got we got five minutes. Um, what about you? Five minutes. Yeah, what are you talking? Tell us a little something about you. Dude, they they, they know about me. Yeah, yeah, we don't. 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 I was in I was I was in Guam and uh, I contacted Nate Burkett because we were originally both from Virginia. Mm -hmm. and he's he's a lot older than me. Um, he's not. But we had the same club coach, and he, this club coach was like, "Hey, you should go, you know, contact him, go play, talk to Nate." And they put me in touch with Armando Rosario. Uh, he used to play for. Another question in the chat? Question. Oh, yeah. Is it Drew Mariano? <laughs> no. Oh. We have different All right, we don't need to hear about me. Let, let's hear from the fans. <laughs> let's hear about the fans. Uh, who do you think is the fan favorite? Who's the fan favorite? Whoa. Well, I thought you would have been like me. For in sure. the beginning of this season, I think we'd have to say Daniel oh, once no, 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 no. Oh. But now. Big boy started like Jesse over here, Justin Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber with a hickey yeah, on his neck. 
Oh, oh that's yeah, it. it's a viewer story like Burst Justin Bieber. Oh, I can see Justin Bieber a little bit. Yeah, they're on the fan page, right? Yeah, that is true. Oh, yeah, one of the fans actually made him go to the page. Nice, we gotta check that out. It's on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. thanks, you nice. That was good. No. <laughs> he goes, uh, uh, come on, he's turning red again. Yeah. Alright, next question. Let's get out. Let's let, let's let Jesse off the hook. Uh, most severe injury? You guys are team. always injured. Most severe well, injury on their team this season? Or individual? individual? This season? Individual. Uh, individually, well, Mine would have to be worst. my feet. I broke. I had a screw in each foot. I broke the same bone. Twice on each foot. Dang. All right, all right. How'd you do that? Yeah. All Football. Like Coca Cola. <laughs> all the Coca Cola. Yeah, I was screwed on each foot. Yeah, they look kind of purple. purple. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't look white yeah. you look kind of purple <laughs> down there. I didn't even realize that. Whoa. <laughs> just an alien. Which rear uh, injury? Uh, my worst were just tearing both my hamstrings. Honestly, I haven't, luckily, I haven't had anything else happen to me. Dude, yeah. But uh, the hamstrings could be, you know, that nagging pain where it's like you really can't play because this muscle yeah. is just done. So, yeah, I'd say hamstring torn. Um, never really. I'm lucky. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Yeah, me too. Let me do some of this. <laughs> <laughs> What's, our, what's our next question there? Have you guys ever given a jersey to a fan? I think she wants a jersey. I think she wants a jersey too from each one of you. Who's that? Who's that there? SSFC Chicks. SSFC Chicks. say a football club chicks. Dude, you know all about those chicks. Jesse's low key all about it. Jesse's Sam. I'm just saying. Scoop. Dude, you got all this. Dude, how old are you? 19. Nineteen. Yeah, you got all the scoop. Oh, you got all the young chicks for sure, Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's how you're doing. That's for sure how he's getting it. By the way, guys, we weren't supposed to know who he's dating, right? We, just, we didn't know if that was a secret or not. We found that out at the commercial break. That uh, could have been a secret. No, no, we got to blow it up. We got to put it out there. So uh, I'm in trouble. just in case you don't see this guy around next season, <laughs> you maybe know that's uh, why he got, choom, got the slip. They're trying to keep you out of those pants. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what else? Are we gonna have any questions in the chat room? Yeah, last one. Wow, another one? Yeah. This is really pissing me off. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had Kai guys, we've had Green Archer guys, we've had everyone but the Stallions, and actually we had uh, Rufino uh, on our international show. Yeah, yeah, I was real surprised with his English actually. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's Supposedly good English. when he came here, he didn't know. Yeah, didn't know a thing. Nothing. Yeah, but we did not have people asking us questions then. And then we got three white guys. Oh, it's because we got Justin Bieber. <laughs> 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 we got some Bieber fever going on. That's why. Well, All right, give me the answer this last question, question and get these white guys out of my uh, studio. Most memorable gift that you've ever received. Uh, from that. Dude, I think this fan has given you guys something. <laughs> And if you guys don't mention it, dude, she might come after you. She or he might come after you for sure. Is this the same fan asking these questions? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This is this could be scary. Like, this could be a good thing. I had an orange band given to me once. A what? Orange like band or bracelet or something. And he's not wearing it today. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the most memorable one? I don't know. I was waiting for my shot cool to but it didn't get me. <laughs> No way. Oh, waiting for yeah, your shackles. Yeah, so he has You gotta get a sponsorship, but. <laughs> what about you? What's your. Uh... Oh, he ever say his gifts less than right, this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, got, I get into the Philippines and I come, you know, we're in the same spot. And they got this whole counter. I'm talking just a mountain full of candy, just all sorts of peanut butter brittle. They got all sorts of stuff. That's from all the fans. And I was like, all right, cool, yeah. boom. And we're just grubbing it all in. Awesome. I was like, that's cool. They, you know, they really support you and they care, you know, and it makes you feel yeah. good, for that's sure. Cool. They, they, take, they take care of us here. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I just got some shot. amazing cookies last week. The really? Yes. They last I mean, like two days in like a big box. <laughs> How bomb is that? You know, you Dude, get a I don't think I ate cookie. a normal meal for like two days. I crushed those cookies. <laughs> Thanks to uh, my buddy Alfred out there, if you're watching, I'm sure you're watching. He actually tweeted me the other day he left to somewhere and he's been working like 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, it's, it's scheduled for like two weeks, so I oh, guess I'm not getting cookies for a while, but <laughs> man, I miss you. So, so you get all the food stuff, yeah. huh? Food. So they give the awesome. giant all the cookies <laughs> and all the peanut butters. Uh, Jeremy loves the sweets, man. Sure. Jesse has a sweet tooth. Any more questions in that chat room? <laughs> Another one? Oh, dude, we're about to cut this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> we got another one? Yeah, who snores the loudest? 
<laughs> oh, that's a good oh, one. Wow. These two actually happen to sleep in the same bed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on the car right over there, they're talking about they sleep in the same bed. And they wanted to sit next oh, to each other. Oh, oh, man. You had to, huh? Yeah, I had to. Just cut this off. Dude, it's the fans' fault. Dude, it's because of, yeah, of the chat room. We gotta take advantage of the chat room. Thank you. This is the first time this happens, the chat room. We gotta take advantage of the first, We got a first time? Yeah. It, was it was supposed to be I've right never right. used a chat room. We've never made a phone call on here. You guys, this is the first time we're here. Come on. Now, when Rick gets back, I'm like, dude, you won't believe what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you should just take over, dude. Just kill it. We should, just, like, we should just take over the show. We don't yeah, know. you guys should just do. You guys should definitely take over the chat room. <laughs> well, you should definitely give us a call a couple of times. Too, so <laughs> yeah, call you. Get a little chat in. Dude, there. answer the fans' question. We're about to run out of time. We gotta cut off the white guys. I don't know who would snort. Well, you guys, I know you sleep in the same bed. Well, fuck. I know. Let's knock out. Have all three of you ever slept in the same bed? No. Well, not that we know of. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Justin <laughs> Beaver. Just. <laughs> I don't know who stores the loudest. Dude, that, this fam was know that you guys sleep in the same bed together. Why would they ask that? Well, you sleep in the same bed with Diego. <laughs> oh, we got, we got one bed, dog. Yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do what you gotta do. The bedroom bed. condo. And it was originally me and Jesse for like a month, two months. And then March came around, the transfer window. Then Diego and Mati came. And now there's four in the condo. And, the and then all of a sudden the Brazilians came. And now we got six. How many beds? Three? Three. So the Brazilians stick together in one bed? Sure. No, yeah, oh, they, they, the two they have twins. two twins. They're lucky. They come last and yeah, they get the man. two twins. Oh, man. That's crazy. Dude, I had it just like that, too. When I got here and played for Kaya or whatever, I stayed in Sukkot. Sukkot? It was kind of far away. And I had a, um, <laughs> I, my roommate, uh, my teammate now, Eric Jarabra, Masa, and this other guy, Alex, who's not here anymore. Dude, and it was like, it was like uh, one little room. And like a divider, and then on that side it was like two of us, and on the other side it was like two. A curtain divider. And it was like, That's bad. like this couch was, you know, like yeah. more cushion than the thing I slept on. <laughs> yeah, but hey. Hey, you, gotta yeah, yeah, you gotta sacrifice something. Yeah. You, you gotta know, sacrifice like, something out of this life. You yeah, know? hey. There's one great can't experience. Can't be that easy. Can't Obviously, we still like you. We're still here. You're still sleeping in bed with this guy. You guys are about to win a championship. Hey. Hey, just make the most out of hey, it. Hey, you know when we went and we do the party at Mandalay and then Yeah, we'll dude, dude, I can't spend I can't spend the night though. You don't <laughs> make the night to sleep. <laughs> you got the couch that folds out. It's yeah. right. <laughs> we'll fit four people. All right, guys. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in to Fever Pitch. Thank you, you guys. guys. Guys, want to say any shout outs to anyone? Any more white people out there? <laughs> thank thank you to the fans. You know, yeah, for yeah, chatting. The and yeah, help us support, support, support. Yeah. go hey. support Kaya, big game, game. yeah, support Kaya. Oh, support, oh, support Kaya, alright, support Science too, yeah. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll link up for a bit, we'll Yeah, we'll link up, they, they need us, they're gonna treat me like their girlfriend for the next two weeks. <laughs> um, dude, the, the fans in, uh, in the chat room, wow, uh, thank you guys, that, that's, that's a first, uh, I'm, I am lost for words. I'm actually, I'm a little bothered too. <laughs> but I'm very happy that we, we got people in our chat room today. Um, thank you guys. Uh, anytime, say hi anytime. to your parents. Uh, yeah, sure. Love you guys. Uh, hi mom, love you, miss you. Yeah, yeah love, much love for everyone from the, yeah. from the Pines, man. Yeah. Been treated well here, so we're stuck. Dude. Friends, it's a good family. place. Nice. All right, normally uh, Rick does this, uh, I think you got a fever thing. You guys want to freak out, but I think you got a fever. <laughs> Later, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Take sorry. care.